we need to do the breathing. Touch here, touch the heels, slowly down. Okay? Slowly down. So make sure that you're touching the heels, touching each other, so you get the support and you balance this. I'm going to stay here and try to sit back. See? Stay here. Stay in one leg. Sit forward without touching the leg. Bring this foot up and hold here. Half lotus. Other side. Bring this leg up. See? Bring it here and stay. So, when you learn meditation, the main part is you have to sit tall. See, sit tall like this. So, you're creating the natural curves of the spine. It's very important. Because, always remember, the body is meditating, not the mind. So, the body has to be really elongate the spine and stay here. So I'm going to do some breathing exercise first before we meditate. Press the palm here. So fast breathing really help you to clean and open the tubes and cavities. So forcefully like a pump. Okay, now relax. Now we have to control the breathing pattern. Slow down, slowly exhale, inhale. So when you exhale, you let it go the same way the body sucks the air back. Exhale, you tighten the abdomen wall, inhale. So you have to really make sure that you're inhaling and exhaling the same volume. Exhale, inhale, exhale, Inhale. Okay. Now the third set is you hold little bit in between. Exhale. Rest of that through the mouth. And hold the breath. Now you let it go. Inhale through the nostril. You can feel the body sucking the air. Hold the breath. Again exhale through the nostril. Wait and rest of that through the mouth. Wait through the mouth again. Empty more. Now you inhale through the nostril by letting it go. This comes inside. Same volume. One more time. Exhale through the nostril. Rest of that through the mouth. Through the mouth again. Now move the abdomen wall without breath. Now lock the chin and hold the breath. Chin straight, inhale. Hold it and lock it again. Chin straight, let it go. Press the lower back. So you can switch the sitting position, the base. Now press the lower back. Bring your shoulders really back. Chin straight. Uh, you remember, the tailbone should be really pushed out a little bit. Okay. Now exhale fast. Exhale in here. Now slow down. Now exhale, hold, rest of that for the mouth, hold, move the abdomen board without breath, lock the chin and hold the breath, chin straight, let it go inhale, lock it again, chin straight, let it go. 
relaxed face seconds. So, holding means the resisting that air inside and outside. So, it creates strength. Any resistance creates strength to the tissues and muscles. So, always think about this. Your internal organs are just feel as a muscle. So, when you resist, it becomes strong. So, you have a better example. You take 5 pounds, it's a resistance. 10 pounds is a resistance. So, all play with the gravity force. Here, you resist by holding the breath. So, that's very important. Don't think that, oh, I cannot hold the breath, I can do this. Pranayama means how you control your prana, life force energy. Now, bring your arms here. Fast breathing. Remember this? Now, slow down. You exhale, you tighten the abdomen ball, let it go. Exhale through the nostril, hold, tighten the abdomen ball, rest of that through the mouth, tighten the abdomen ball more, move the abdomen ball without the breath, lock the chin and hold the breath. Chin straight, inhale. Now the lungs are really full, hold it again, lock. Chin straight, let it go. So always remember this. Maybe I know that most of the people are doing this, but un listen to that breathing pattern. Your exhalation is not forceful, the lung has a problem. Your holding power has a problem, lungs are weak and supporting muscles are weak. Not just, okay, I have five minutes, I am doing yoga. That's not the thing. You have to feel your body. Then always you will be in the present. When you, when you feel what you are doing and what's happening to your body inside and out. Upper back. So upper back. Okay. You can really press here or cross. So press, try to press the whole palm on the upper back. Then slowly cross, if you cross, bring the shoulders towards the ears and elongate the spine, say. Fast breathing. Slow down. Now exhale. Rest of that to the mouth. Tighten the abdomen wall. Move the internal organ in the, in the abdomen cavity without breath. Lock the chin and hold the breath. Chin straight in here. Lock it again. Chin straight, let it go. So why we are changing the shoulder position is, we are using different lobe of the lungs, that's why. Arms, the full lungs. You have to clean all these tubes and cavities. Look at one side and do the fast. Other side. Look up. Look down. And relax for a second. I want to make sure that you are doing it without, doing, without committing any mistake. Because the problem is very simple, but your body position should be really strong. Don't sit like this. That's not the thing. You can see a lot of people, they think about the name instead of thinking about why we do this. Here. Slow down. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Hold your breath a little bit. Let it go in here. Hold your breath a little bit. Exhale to the nostril. Hold. Now rest up there through the mouth. Tighten the abdomen board. Inhale to the nostril. Exhale to the nostril. Rest up there through the mouth. 
Move the abdomen called the third breath. Lock the chin and hold the breath. Chin straight, let it go in here. Lock it again. Chin straight, let it go. I think you get an idea that what is pranayama means. So we can make it simplify this one. First you have to clean the tubes and cavities. Because those tubes and cavities are really clogged with virus and bacteria. It's not a, it's not a clean place. The days of fungus and nose. It is a quality of bacteria and virus. You can see all the animals. They push it out. They go like this. Human beings, Google it and find out where the part the problem is. The chemical problem, sometimes you think too much about the chemistry, you don't know about the full body, it's a chemical factory. And it's one unity separate pharmaceutical factory, creating exclusive medicine millions of years. That's why we survived and reached here. If you believe in science, forget about the yoga. So, but the problem is we become very lazy because of the devices. Now the people cannot even think properly. Okay, now, upper respiratory system is connected to the throat and the nostril. Okay. So, first part is opening the mouth up. Ah, and when you close the mouth, bring the lower chin a little bit forward, see? Like these two upper and lower part should be connected together, see? Ah. So this lower jaw has to come forward. The same way you look at the front corner, do the same. So the supporting muscles are creating this change. Look at the other side. Then try to rotate your head by doing this, see? Other way. Society make you feel that it's a weird exercise. And you have any problem, the only method is surgery. Taking this hour job put into the front. Then send to a physiotherapy doing like doing like this. Why can't you try physiotherapy before you go to surgery? I don't know, my surgeons will be upset with me, but it is very important as a yoga person I have to tell you. Body can change. You can change your body position, especially the skeletal system. Now open your mouth and rotate the head. Other way. Okay. Now you turn the head like this and biting one side, see? So I'm using the exhalation. Other side. Don't bite your tongue. Okay. Now rotate the lower jaw. That also you have to create a little bit of push forward. Other way. If any problem with the lower jaw, please do this and teach other people to do this. Now, tongue is a very important part. The tongue is also just, it's, a, it's literally connected to the neurotransmitters. So push the tongue down and, and move the tongue outside. And the, put the tongue outside and, and such other way. Now push the tongue out and take it fast. So all these muscles to swallow, to push the tongue out, all the family of muscles. Don't think that is different. Now, push the tongue inside the mouth and rotate. Other way. Create good circle. Now try to 
roll the time mm. and take the air through that. Then same way, push it out. You can use the, all the tissues are really losing it. Okay. You can try to fold that time. Sometimes it's very difficult. You can really fold it back. Anyway, forget about that. Now rotate the tank one more time. Other way. Now push the tongue out and clean the starting point of esophagus and the epiglottis, see? And close your mouth and clean that through the nostril. And clean these tubes between the throat and the nostril, pharynx and pharynx. Inhale to the nostril. Lock the chin and hold the breath. And exhale through the mouth. Lock it again. Chin straight. Inhale to the nostril again. Lock it again. Chin straight, exit through the mouth. All the toxin out. Like a blowing of the candle, you put it a little bit far from you. Inhale to the nostril. Lock it. Chin straight, exit through the mouth forcefully. Lock. Chin straight, roll the tank. Suck the air through the tongue, lock it. Chin straight, let it go gently through the nostril. So you can see you're inhaling the cool air and exhaling the warm. So we, what we are doing is, this tube is really help you to control the breath. It's called the diaphragmatic breath, especially when you sleep. Open the palm. Think about the throat and the nostril, see? More closer to the snoring. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Hold the breath. Gently exhale. Practice this. While you sleep, you are sucking the air from the stomach. See? <laughs> so there is an elevated area there that is called snoring. <coughs> see? There's a sound. One more time. Inhale. So Maybe you notice that we are not learning, maybe you run and jog and jump, but we are not doing any exercise for this upper part, above the neck, facial muscle health. So, I can see people, they cannot stretch the cheek muscle at all. So because they are not using it properly. Open your eye, wide open. It's called Tradak because don't blink. So the light comes and click the tear gland. Now rotate that eye without blinking. Good circuit. Other way. Now look straight. Close your eyes. Use all the supporting tissues to close the eye. Inhale and exhale. You tighten that all the tissues here by closing. Open. Close. 
open, close. So you can see that muscles are stretching. Open, close. Open, close. Keep doing it. Open, close. Inhale to the nostril and bring the air to the mouth. Then exhale through the nostril. Inhale to the nostril and bring the air through the mouth. Exhale through the nostril. Then again inhale, hold, bring the air to the mouth, now exhale through the mouth. I am trying to use the air and the force and clean all these tubes and cavities here, especially the pharynx, this connected to the ears and down to the starting point of the esophagus windpipe and also the sinus and to the eye and the middle part of this between the eyebrows and mainly with the sinus. So it's considered like a colony of bacteria and virus. That's where they first land and start forming a colony. Like exactly what we did closer to the river. There's a moisture here all the time. So all they want host. Um, don't think that this microorganism is stupid. We become stupid because we don't know how to survive on this planet. I'm afraid we cannot survive. After 500,000 years, maybe we will not be here on this planet. Because we don't know how to manage or balance our systems. We learn so many things, how to make the device and use the devices. But we forget about how to use our device. There's a natural device and the one part of the cosmic energy that never fail. We are part of the cosmic energy. It doesn't matter what happened, you merge into that. So it's not a philosophy. Don't think that is a philosophy. We are all temporarily here, changing the form continuously and coming back again and again. So that energy won't disappear. So you think that you disappear because that way we condition the society that we need to buy things then we will be happy. Not really. You should know who you are on this planet. To reach the stage you have to spend some time. So only thing is to fixing the body and the mind to get away from the story or step out from the story. Otherwise you all die with the stress by thinking about the story. I tell you another example. If I die, maybe I, will, I won't think about name and I don't know whether I was a yoga teacher. Definitely. But maybe, I, maybe I take some good karma if I help people. That's also a subject, but maybe. Other one is sure, you, will, you won't remember anything. Even at the old age, Rasenmar means you don't remember your name. So it's a good example. Every day we are going to a different world of sleep. So or during the sleep, how you, the body taking the breath, you have to really help the body to, to teach the body, train the body what is the diaphragmatic breathing is. It is not the name, like a Ujjayi or Ida and Pengala. You should teach the people how to take the breath and control the breathing pattern. I think you understand this. Take deep breath. Now we have to open these two airways. In here to the left, Exhale to the left. Keep doing. I gently touch this index finger between the eyebrows. Now, the same way, other side. Inhale to the right. Exhale to the right. Okay. Now we can hold a little bit. Inhale to the left. Hold. 
XL to the right, hold, one more time, inhale to the left, hold, exhale to the right, hold, then we can do the other way, inhale to the right, hold, exhale to the left, hold, again, inhale to the right, hold, exhale to the left, now inhale to the left, hold, exhale to the right, hold, inhale back from the right, hold, exhale to the left, hold, inhale back from the left, hold, exhale to the right, so you can repeat it. So once you open these two passing, always think about this, your breathing pattern really correct the neurotransmitters and frequency of your brain wave. Good example, when a person upset, you can immediately change the breathing pattern. Also, the runners, the hyperactivity, the runners are creating the fire inside. So they cannot control the neurotransmitters to calm down. So most of the runners, running is not very good exercise. I have been telling this for 20-21 years to the people. You can run, you can jog, you can jump, you can lift weight. But understand the body and the mind in a different dimension. You don't know anything, nobody trained you what to do, that's what the problem. I have been this in the health industry for so many years. People lift the weight, again they get sick, they unnecessarily run and come into me with a knee pain. So all these joints has to be really opened up first, then strengthening it. And I tried maximum um, every day to teach the people how to fix the body and the mind. Before and messing up is up to your passion. I have some friends always go up with the golf, surfing. All you can see that they're balancing in an imbalanced surface. That is not the body. Body was a very limited role. Lifting the weight. Animal, you cannot see an animal is lifting the weight. They bite and lift. There's a body structured like this. You create some bicep triceps, doesn't mean that you are strong. It's only one family, muscular system. The neuromuscular skeletal system should be totally combined. And all the other systems. Especially in the mind, endocrine system, your hormones. Most of the people are going to the psychiatrist every day because the hormone imbalance, nothing else. So please try. Now, the sound vibration. Use this and change the vibration. So, diaphragmatic breathing, inhale. And use this three word, A, O, M. A, O, M. One more time, inhale. Hold the breath. Aum. So the humming part is, is a very strong vibration to change your body sense. So inhale. To get more frequency, touch the time in the alley. Curl it and press the roof of the mouth. So inhale. Please do this every day. Fix the body within one hour or half an hour and you can mess up the body afterwards. If you eat, you have to move. Then only you can move next day. So if you eat, if you don't move, don't eat. These are connected. And what you eat is also important because the cells need nutrients. 
that also most of the disease sometimes the nutrients we need so you have to check your deficiency in the nutrients and you can balance it might you know about the might it is just like a divide into 10 percent the monkey might it is going unnecessarily fear always fear so if you can control the fear the main fear is fear of death and fear of sudden change anyway we are going to face it if you can control this right now you are enlightened but it's very hard because Shashi is not important to you I know very well you already trained and domesticated so many things conditioned it is very hard for you to change because you are all surviving by using that knowledge I am talking about body, mind not your survival instinct or anything at the same time we need to survive we need to enjoy our life but take some time for your body and the mind every day now the next part is complete relaxation the relaxation is not pretending that you are relaxed lay down your back even though 10 minutes or 5 minutes you should know how to relax spread your feet and disconnect the two legs from the brain that means don't think that you have two legs let it go both arms and the shoulders so the pelvic when you spread your feet and relax your both legs you relax the pelvic and you shoulder has to be really settled down and open the palm to the sky relax your facial muscles and think about to settle down mainly the water 65% fluid in the body has to settle down the facial muscles has to be totally relaxed and the mouth gently open one or two inch mouth and relax your tongue in the middle take deep breath and suggest your mind, suggest your mind let go keep telling your mind breathe in breathe out let go breathe in hold few seconds breathe out and when you breathe out you suggest your mind let go visualize your body on the planet like a tiny tiny microorganism like any other microorganism on this planet you think that you are bigger than the microorganism that's only difference what you think may be all being on the planet thinking exact like you you don't know you totally underestimate most of the microorganism but they are so powerful because they also survived millions of years more than us ask question to the scientist breathe in breathe out and let the healer comes help you when you totally relax the healer comes and heals 